What's up friends? On the menu today, we're making some beef pho. Shout out to Julie Mali for giving me this recipe a few years ago that I still use and for requesting it on the channel. So we're gonna start by boiling three liters of water on the stove. While that's boiling, quarter a white onion, cut some cilantro in half because you're gonna be using those cilantro roots. You're gonna add that to a cheesecloth with some star anise, cinnamon sticks, cloves, and if you can find whole cardamom, you're gonna put that in there as well. Again, heed my warning, make sure that you use a big enough cheesecloth. As you see, I had to switch mine over because I always try to stuff 10 pounds of sausage in a five pound bag. You're gonna to wanna to tie that all together. Make sure it's tied really nice and tightly because when you put it in the water, you don't want it to fall apart and have like cloves and starnies all over your broth. So just make sure that you tie it in a really nice knot and get it all secure. Then you're gonna cut your beef. You're gonna to wanna to have two cuts of beef for this recipe. You definitely want some beef on the bone and then something like a chuck roast. Add that to your pot of boiling water. As the beef starts to boil in the water, you're gonna see what's called scum rise to the top. So make sure you skim that off the top. I usually just use a spoon and another side bowl of water. Then you can go ahead and add your quartered onions. You're gonna add about a tablespoon or two of salt, another tablespoon or two of beef bouillon, and your herbal bag cheesecloth. Mix that all in, and like I mentioned, we couldn't find whole cardamom to put in the cheesecloth, so that's me putting about a teaspoon of cardamom into the broth. You're gonna cover it and let it boil for about an hour and a half to two hours. When you're about ready to serve, go ahead and blanch your rice noodles. These are a little bit thinner than I like to use, however, they're still gonna work for the recipe. Then pour the hot piping broth, onions, and beef over the rice noodles. If you can find it, fresh rice noodles are the best. However, dried rice noodles still work. You just have to blanch them a little bit longer. I like to serve my pho with sriracha, lemon, jalapeno, basil. You can also use bean sprouts, limes, cilantro. Really, however you like to enjoy your pho, I promise this recipe will not disappoint. Ooh, it's hot, but it's good. <laughs>